<gasps> okay. Yay. What is this? It is fangs. We'll have to open it to find out. Talk to the bartender. Well, there was one time this thing was two, two boxes. It's two boxes. It sure is packed well. It is packed very well. Ooh, that looks great. Ladies and gentlemen, is that just a sort of box with nothing in it? Something in there. Let me see. I'll check on the camera. No, it's just a spacer box. It looks like a case. It does look like a case. Looks like we got a case, a bunch of cases here. This is how to make the unboxing video engaging. Okay, that, is that one of those um, checkmates? It, well, it's a Checkmate Mini. Checkmate Mini. So is that what the other box is? It is also a Checkmate Mini. Okay. However... Oh, this one's a different color. It's black. Okay. Thank uh, you. Thank you, special guest Bit Barn. That's right. You're welcome. Special <laughs> guest and production assistant. Bit bond. Can you say you ordered a vampire for case? Yep. Kit. Yeah, I wonder if it's already installed or if it's inside here. That looks pretty nice, actually. I mean, his, his cases are yeah. pretty, pretty amazing. That is a beautifully designed case, I must say. Isn't it kind of modular as well? And you're going to put the... A Vampire 4 standalone in this one, and over there you're gonna put uh, the Mister. Yeah. Okay. I like the white and the black. It's like the yin yang thing. We could probably create some characters off of these. And have them Definitely. Fight. Oh, this has the Mystics board already pre-installed. The Mystics for the Mister. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thing is, those ports on this Vampire 4. They fit up, they line up perfectly with that little space. Okay. I'm not saying that's what it is. I haven't read the manual or anything. Did I hit the, is it? And so there's a look at the front. Looks really nice. A beautiful ebony. So there you go, that's for the vampire on this side. Now we've got the other one. I'm kind of curious to see this board in here. Edo Rana did it. Oh, really? Okay. He does some good stuff. He does. Mystics. Mystics board. That's the Mr. to ITX. And I uh, see there's like a place where you put your Mr. there. And then it looks like a fan. Place to put a fan. Huh. I gotta say, that is a gorgeous piece of wood. That is really awesome. That looks amazing. And you, Arana, he does some good job. <coughs> and it looks like you just plug it right in, huh? Yeah. So there you go. We got the white. I guess it's not really white. It's more of a cream color, isn't it? Yeah. I think, uh, oyster white or something. Some, whatever the amino colors are. Nice. I want to take another look at the back of this. The quality on this is just amazing. And it's a different back than on this one. So there's the uh, Mystics back end. Yeah, it looks like all of its ports get mounted up top. Mm. Oh, and I just noticed there's these vents 
It looks like we got places for fans to go in there. And so there's the vampire in. I mean, it fits in there perfect. And let's take a look at that back interface. I mean, that's just slick, dude. You know? You got your vampire panel, then your uh, little expansion, USB, LAN, and HDMI. They go through this little... Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be a way to do drive activity, because we've, we've got the, the drive activity LED with lead here with, with nothing to hook it to. I wonder what other people are doing if anybody's getting... I believe that there's one pin on your IDE chain that you can pull off the activity. Yeah, I don't know that this has any real IDE. That's true. That's a good point. You know, this being... This being FPGA, I don't think it has real IDE in there. Well, maybe if somebody's watching this and you know, let us know in the comments. Mister. So this one's for the mister, huh? Yeah. We gotta connect these uh, extensions. Yeah, but we gotta mount the mister in here too. Mister. Right. Yep. Yeah. Where's it at? Here's the mister, but we're going to have to take the... Um, Take the I.O. board off, I think. Mm. I don't know if this will, if the, I'm going to have to read to see if the I.O. board goes on here or not. And that means I've got different memories that's going to have to go in here. Yeah. So, the mister is definitely not going to be as straightforward as the vampire. Alright, well, we'll figure it out. Got the mister in there. Yeah. Putting a ram on, huh? Mm, that board is flexing. And there we go. That is the Mister installed in the Mystics version 1.2. Awesome. And let's take a look at the back. This is what the ports look like. Got your network cable, HDMI, USB, more USB, looks like serial, uh, audio, USB 3.0, VGA, amazing. And there they are. We don't have the power supplies for them yet, but the Mister in that one, and the Vampire version 4 in that one. Interesting, interesting times, ladies and gentlemen. And here we've got the SFX power supply installed. You know, so now this can work from the outside like a fully functioning computer. No, no need to plug and unplug the dip barrel jack or anything like that. I mean, yeah. yeah let's take a look at the back with the connections. Yep. Oh, so I see you've got the vampire put together too. All that tucked away. Yeah, so the vampire is put together. Hooray! Well, thank you for joining us here on Cities In this time. We know that there's a lot of uh, entertainment out there on YouTube, and we do really appreciate you spending your time with us. I'm here in the Cities In studios. We've got Clicky on the back burner here. We're going to be taking that down a notch because we're not getting a lot of views on those. Well,
and it's kind of a shame that we're not getting more views but it is what it is <clears throat> don't worry though we're still going to be doing the clicky videos maybe once a quarter something like that well, our plans are to do a Kamala R64 birthday for clicky um, then we've got also encrypted tales during the Halloween time we're always going to be doing the encrypted tales because we love doing them they're awesome um, and then just maybe one or two per year something like that I don't know just depends on how it goes if we get start getting more views on those then we'll pump those back up but for now we're just going to be concentrating on reviews programming doing zany hijinks with projects you know such as the smoker door 64 or you know fireworks shooting off fireworks with them stuff like that but we don't know join us next time because we're going to be doing a marchantage video again this year where oh i'm not going to spoil it but let's just say somebody else besides zamfir is going to save the g5 this time from uh being crushed so just one more thing before we go and cut out this time thank you to the patrons out there who support us we really do appreciate it it uh is really a good motivator for us you know i know our stuff is kind of weird um it's some kind of avant-garde kind of stuff that's just different but hey we enjoy what we do you know we love the commodore 64 um me and brian zamfir is his handle you know that's how we met a long time back in the day and we went to you know user meetings and everything else <clears throat> so we're just trying to carry on that legacy let people know that hey we're just some commoner guys thank you again for the subscribes for the likes uh the comments the patrons we really do appreciate it anyway until next time this is deadline for cities in I'll have hope. And the terror. Let's build. Created red podcast. The best bully can. And the show and tell. Since silence. Thank you.